G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. I've got the Runcam Night Eagle on the bench here, and I've got to say, it's a pretty impressive little camera for what it's designed to do. Now, this is what I'd call a starlight camera. It's not a twilight camera. It's not a daylight camera. It's designed for use when you can't see your hand in front of your face, but you still want to go flying. And of course, it's turning into winter in the Northern Hemisphere, so the daytime flying hours are getting fewer and fewer, but the nighttime flying hours are getting more and more. So why wouldn't you want to have a night camera you could use on your plane or your quad to go out there and have some fun after the sun has set and honestly this is the best performing night camera i have seen i've reviewed the runcam owl and i mean that's okay it, it works fine in the in the twilight and then the the three quarters of an hour or so just after the sun has set while there's still a bit of illumination in the in the sky or when you're flying under street lights and in low lighting conditions but it's not a starlight camera it doesn't have the performance to let you fly when there's virtually or well, absolutely no light around other than perhaps some starlight and uh, to give an example, if we look at the specifications, uh, we see that the Runcam Night Eagle has a sensitivity 10 times that of the Runcam Owl. And the Runcam Owl is 100 times more sensitive than the regular HS1177 or the Runcam Swift. So we're looking at a, at a thousand times more sensitivity to light with this camera than with your regular FPV camera. That's an awful lot more sensitive and it really shows Here's some footage I took, uh, as I, I, unfortunately I can't fly this camera because the convergence of rules here in this country and regulations means that there's nowhere I can legally fly at night. And a lot of people are in the same boat. It's just these damn regulations surrounding model aircraft use. But here we go. So I took to my feet. I did the same thing as I did with the Runcam Owl. I hitched this up to the back of an LCD and I went walking in the local park. And this is how it looks. Okay, so here we are. It's actually, the light is so bad that the the sun won't even focus anymore this house here but as you can see there's just nothing just nothing and this is the darkness of the park i'm going to turn on the screen now and where are we where huh For some reason it didn't go on right you can see that I'm going to start recording on the LCD now so I can show you the results directly but there's just nothing there otherwise but you see that so let's record okay now we're recording I can't actually see where I'm walking I'm relying solely on the LCD screen you can actually see the shadow which is from the street lights way over there which and I'm showing showing the Sony camera you see that the Sony camera facing the same way as the is the run cam and you just can't see anything if I didn't have this camera I couldn't see where I was going I'd walk into something my eyes simply cannot see in this darkness I'm solely reliant on this camera now for the viewing and it's fantastic I mean that's brilliant let's look at the sky can we see some stars yeah probably oh there's a star over there but um yeah this I'm, I would walk into this tree if I didn't have this camera because I cannot see a damn thing without the run cam running it is absolutely amazing totally brilliant i am truly gobsmacked at there's absolutely no light here at the moment there's no moon tonight it's completely black and i'm able to see now could i fly in that possibly i could possibly fly that i'm not sure i'd have to try it out but it's illegal to fly at night in new zealand so i won't know but um you know i'm just going to keep walking you can see the automatic gain control going up and down on this so this is pretty impressive there's a lake down here actually somewhere so without this camera i would fall in the lake and drown <laughs> but here we go this is gobsmackingly good and you can see the brilliance the intense illumination of those lights which the sony just barely picks up and it can't focus on them because the light's so low this is absolutely brilliant this truly is a starlight camera this is the camera you need if you want to fly at night when there's no light and so i'll point it up at the sky again you can see there is no moon tonight and you can see the stars up there but um absolutely brilliant fantastic so i'll have to find a way to try using this on a on a plane or a quad without breaking the law might be a bit tricky but we'll see what we can do but before I went down to the park, in about, it was about 45 minutes after sunset, just as the owl is becoming difficult to use because the, the, the ambient light in the sky is disappearing, I walked around my house a bit, and this is 
the fantastic performance of this camera when there was just barely any illumination in the sky. It was like daylight, absolutely brilliant. So it handles that sort of twilight right through to midnight and beyond very, very well. And there have been other Starlight cameras out there before. I've seen other people, um, what is it, UK TV. Uh, he's flown with Starlight cameras. The problem with the other cameras I've seen before the Runcam Night Eagle is their field of view. Now, these other cameras tend to use a very long lens, which means a narrow field of view. 4.6 millimeters, for example, versus the normal 2.5 or 2.8 that we use for FPV. And so they make it difficult to fly a multi-rotor in proximity because you just don't have that peripheral vision because the field of view is too narrow. This camera has a 140 degree field of view which means it's brilliant, it's fantastic, you can fly your mini quad through the trees at night if you're legally allowed to, which I'm not. So yeah, it's, you know, I haven't tried flying it in the daytime but it does seem to handle day uh, thing quite well but remember it is only a monochrome camera. One of the prices you pay for that fantastic light sensitivity is that you don't have colour. There is no colour from this camera. It's solely black and white. And that takes a little bit of getting used to when you're used to flying in colour. Trust me, I flew in black and white a while ago and it was quite hard until I actually got used to it. Because uh, the colour provides some very useful cues. I mean, the sky and the ground look completely different colours. But in black and white, they don't. So you've got to really sort of have a bit of a practice. But honestly, if you want to fly at night, get maximum flying hours out of the day, uh, then this camera is going to fit the bill. I'm really impressed, absolutely, totally impressed with it. So, yep, there you go. Now it comes, as I say, with the standard accessory pack with the joystick and all that sort of rubbish. Um, and it is a, CCD, a CMOS camera, sorry. It is based on the regular Runcam Eagle, but they've just uh, made it super light sensitive. So there is that little bit of lag in there, a little bit of latency, but that's not going to be an issue. You're not going to be flying at 140 kilometres an hour in pitch black, trust me. Even with this camera, you're just not going to do it. So I don't think the latency is an issue at all with this variant of the Runcam Eagle. Uh, and it, but as I say, it, if you want to fly at night, this really is your very best option at the moment. Best I've seen. So another success, I think, from Runcam. And yeah, I will uh, get some more footage up. I'll try and find someone who has the ability to fly their craft legally at night, and I'll get them to do me some footage, and I will put it up on the channel with a follow-up review, or follow-up to this review on the RC Model Reviews channel. There you go. If you've got questions, comments, anything to say, stick them in the usual place. I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime, I will uh, clean my bench and get on with another review. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.